I'm Dan Gookin, author of these word books, and this is Heading Style Week. What? No applause? Okay. Oh boy, more stuff I don't know about. When will it stop? Oh, I'll get bored someday, but for now, heading styles are styles in word. They aren't headers. A heading style is a paragraph format, as you can see here. Headers are text that appears at the top of every page in a document. It's not the same thing, but they're often confused. And here you see the nine preset heading styles of the normal document template. Not all of the heading styles appear in the styles pane, but they're available. The purpose of a heading style is document organization. That's why heading styles play a role in Word's outline mode. Here you see the same document as before, but in outline view. And back to print layout. The heading styles help you organize your thoughts and present them in a document in the way the reader appreciates and understands. Major topics are given the top level heading, heading 1. Subtopics are heading 2, and if you want to get more organized, you can go down to heading 3, heading 4, and so on. These headings are in addition to the document title, and if you use the headings, they must appear in pairs. A document should have two heading 1 sections, for example. If a section is split further, it must have at least two heading 2 sections. Otherwise, a single heading style shows sloppy organization. Heading styles are also used when Word creates a table of contents. You want the table of contents to be on a blank page, so press Ctrl Enter to set a hard page break. Put the cursor at the top of the blank page. From the References tab, choose Table of Contents, Automatic Table 1. And there it is, complete with page references. This is the beauty of using Word's heading styles. What if the heading styles suck? Well, you don't have to use them, Danny. You could build your own heading styles as long as they use the paragraph level format. They do all the same tricks that Word's built-in heading styles do. Neato! I describe how to create your own heading styles later this week. I can't wait. Thank you, Dr. Word. And you can always get more information on Word, headers, and stuff like that from my Word books. Mm -hmm.